The Davia tutorial describes the manufacture of a high-strength cement. We show here the easiest method to do it. It is obvious that the use of laboratory equipments makes the operation easier. The lab technician should use overall and gloves and respect the safety and security rules that apply to his laboratory. He may be assisted by a second technician in charge of cleaning the tools immediately in water before the hardening of the binder. Here are the directions for use of a Davia geopolymer cement for simple applications. Prepare four parts by weight of powder, three parts by weight of hardener, and between 50% and 200% of fillers depending on its granulometry. Here we weight 120 grams of powder. Here comes the hardener and we weight 90 grams of hardener. Pour the hardener into the powder. Mix the whole with a mixer or by hand until obtaining a fluid resin. Do not add water. Here we use a vibrating machine for a better hand mix. Look how fluid is the resin. We weight 80 grams of fillers, which is a mixed sand containing quartz, feldspar and other minerals. Pour the fillers into the resin and mix the whole. The use of fillers is mandatory, otherwise the Davia binder will crack. Unlike Portland cement, which shrinks when used without fillers, Davia cement does not shrink, but cracks. You will observe this characteristic on the top of your samples where some fillers have decanted. We always remove mechanically this fragile layer before carrying out our tests. Cast the mixture in a hermetically closed mold. For Davia 60, the initial set is as short as 60 minutes, starting from the mixing of the binder, followed by a setting time of 25 minutes, thus totalizing 85 minutes from the initial mixing until the complete hardening of the binder at room temperature. The setting time depends on the room temperature. If necessary, to accelerate the setting, let it first set during two hours at ambient temperature. This allows the chemical reaction to react completely. Then, place the mold in an oven at 60 degrees C for two hours. For this tutorial, we let it harden 24 hours long.
You can clean very easily the equipment with water as long as the mixture has not yet hardened. Twenty four hours later, we demold the sample. Look at the black green color of the sample during the first day. It is a sign of a good geopolymerization. Once it is set, we place the sample in a plastic bag hermetically closed, or dip it in water and store it for at least five days at room temperature. But for a fully cured material and getting the best results, keep it covered for 28 days. After five days, note the condensation of water inside the bag. The polycondensation generates molecular water that is expelled from the network and condenses in form of small drops on the plastic bag. After 28 days, we take out the sample. We still see the black-green color. After two or three days out, the color has returned to normal.